Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. You know Bob Iger's back in office at Disney, right? Because now The Simpsons is cutting an episode that's critical of the Chinese government. Are they cutting it here too or just overseas? Uh, I believe overseas. We can't have that. We no. can't have they that. They won't let it air if, we, if you don't remove it. That is true. They probably told them they had to. That is true. Uh, and there are several episodes, actually, of The Simpsons that are critical of China. But of course, you know, they pick one that's, that's really egregious of the uh, 30 plus seasons. I'm sure they've got somebody. Can you imagine they've got like somebody just sitting there like watching every episode of The Simpsons? And I'd love to know what their opinion is, like going through like, yeah, the first 10 were OK. And then after that, it just fell off a cliff, you know. So we're going to we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. Guys, over uh, 292, almost 293,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Uh, as far as I know, we're not banned in China, but who knows? So this is coming from <laughs> this is coming from uh, Cartoon Brew. Yeah, South Park's banned in China and they made fun of it. Uh, Cartoon Brew. Disney self-censors Simpsons episode critical of the Chinese government. An episode of The Simpsons critical of the Chinese government has been omitted from the Disney Plus platform in Hong Kong. Okay, so they knew it would be problematic, so they on their own took it off. Yeah. One Angry Lisa, uh, episode two of the show's 34th season, sees Marge get a new exercise bike that takes her on a virtual tour of the Great Wall of China. So this is a recent episode. This isn't like one they did 10, 20 years oh, ago. Oh, it's funny though. <laughs> During the ride, Marge's instructor says, behold the wonders of China. Bitcoin mines, forced labor camps where children make smartphones. Oh no. That's funny. But it's not allowed. You're not allowed to say that. It's re-education. It's a re-education camp, guys. Uh, it is. And they're peppermint mines, not Bitcoin mines. Mm -hmm. And children enjoy it. They get free candy. What's the joke <laughs> referring to? Sorry. What's the joke referring to? The trainer's comments are likely referencing Chinese policies toward the Muslim uh, Uyghur population in uh, Xinjiang. Is it Xinjiang? I don't know. Reports throughout the years have indicated the Chinese government has committed numerous human rights violations in an attempt to oppress and control the population there. Now, this is the, uh, the same situation that uh, was controversial with Mulan. Mulan, yeah, it's a live action one. Disney actually thanked them. For letting them film there. By the, the, they thank the CCP for letting them film by the film by the camps. Yeah, right. Um, why why remove an episode in Hong Kong? Disney has not provided any reason for uh, why it removed the episode from Disney Plus in Hong Kong, except for Bob Iger being back in the chair, which is classified as a special administration administrative region of China, meaning that the territory has some degree of political autonomy from mainland China. Um, this is an associate professor specializing in censorship told the Financial Times he said that he believes Disney may have self-censored The Simpsons to protect the company's ties, current and future, future in mainland right, China. Bob Iger's back and Bob Iger is up China, China's ass like, a, you know, one of those suppositories. But not literally because that's forbidden. Yes, but he, that's why I said like a suppository. Like a suppository, he's not a, like a, a gay person. He's a suppository up, up, up their ass yes. because um, I don't think Chapek was was uh, so much so. I mean, he kind of like was whatever. We're not running him in China, I guess. And now Edgar <laughs> came back and he's like, oh, let me grease it for you. Uh, yeah. So here's, here's the thing that's really interesting about that. Remember how everybody was like, oh, my God, this is great. Bob Iger's coming back. Man, because Bob Iger's like way more progressive than Bob Chapek. Bob Chapek was like, eh, if the movie doesn't play in China, it doesn't play in China, whatever. And Bob Iger's like, nah, we're going to cut stuff to make sure it plays in China because money. Yeah, they, they, they care about, they care about, you know, your agendas until it, they have to, you know, play it in a place like China and they need that money. So they only care about it when it benefits them over here. Yeah. So in uh, 2005, um, they had an episode where they referenced Tiananmen Square. Yeah. And uh, they had a shot, including a sign that read, on this site in 1989, nothing happened. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> That's funny. That is a factual statement, according to the CCP. Absolutely nothing happened there. It was Photoshop in 1989. They were really good mm -hmm. at it. It was then. AI. They were, it was they, were, AI. they were, you know, manufacturing propaganda. And time travel. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so... It said Simpsons, uh, these are some of the comments. The Simpsons uh, has gone cringy under Disney. This stupidity is nothing but a way to keep themselves relevant. Uh, the touchy-feely Simpsons with all the wokeness and family-oriented character arcs cannot hold a candle to the subversive family that pointed everything that was wrong with American society back then. Well, that's it. It's under Disney. 
I'm actually surprised they were allowed to make that joke at all under Disney. Yeah, I was surprised about that too. I mean, I, I thought this was going to be like an old episode or something. I didn't realize it was a new one. I'm surprised they got away with it, unless they didn't catch it until too late. I don't know. Um, because The Simpsons has been neutered. I mean, they, well, the people working on it probably are pissed about that. They probably are. So I mean, they're probably trying to see what they can get away with. So I'm waiting for them to ban the episode. It was, I, I think, it was the first or second season. Now oh, it's been a long time since I've seen it. But the one where they're they're roasting the hell out of Disney, in Disneyland. And I'm like, I'm really surprised they let that in there. Actually, the first couple of seasons of The Simpsons were brutal. They were anti-Disney. Uh, because it was on Fox back then and they were rivals and and uh, you know now it's like just become this generic cartoon show quasi adult cartoon I mean they got rid of a poo because of the right controversy around that because one guy complains one guy complains about a poo and the voice actor quits and they yeah. well hell they didn't even get to the place where people complained they just banned it before it got sent over so yeah I'm really surprised and I have to wonder I have to wonder if um you know, all those uh, Pixar workers are gonna be happy with Bob Iger coming back because he might be like, yeah, we can have all kinds of representation as long as we can cut it Very from much. the movie. So if you wanna add an additional five minutes of representation, that's fantastic. Just make sure that it's not gonna affect the main storyline in any way because it's not gonna be allowed in China. Thanks guys. Thanks. That's that. You know what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. for all their dunking on Bob Chapek or the "Don't Say Gay" bill, right? They, when the push comes to shove, you know Disney's going to cut it if it means that they get their money. When push comes to shove, Disney's going to shove that suppository right up the CCP's. Pretty much to get what they want. They're going to grease whatever they have to grease to get what they want. That is correct. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.